Hi everybody, this is Diane. This is just going to be a little bit of a craft along with me while I work on some of the covers for some glue books that I want to make. <coughs> and I pretty much have the pages done for this Christmas, this big Christmas journal. Uh, I just want to go back through and make sure I don't want to add something else before I sew it all together, but I might get this all put together before I go on my little getaway. But I won't list it till I get back because I'm going to close my shop while I'm gone. And I just want to make sure, you know, I don't want to be rushed in if I list this and somebody orders it and then I have to pack it and mail it. I figured it's better if I just wait till I get home. So it's getting there. But this is not blood, this is ink. I didn't realize that I had so much red ink all over me until just this moment because I just did a little stamping on those pages. So what I have here are the book covers that I showed you that I want to make glue books out of. And I have some of them put together with chipboard and Tyvek. And I have the fabrics, some fabrics. I don't know what fabrics I'm going to use on them, but I did bring some over here. But I thought I would just put another cover together um, I've got my chipboard spines all cut to the right width. I, I make them two and a half inches. I believe one of these little pieces is slightly narrower. But I make them two and a half inches, which is wider than I normally do in a normal journal. But I need to give you lots of room. Because once you start gluing things on the pages and a glue book, you're going to be gluing on every page, hopefully, if that's what I do with my glue books, um, and they fatten up very quickly. So I give you a nice big spine on the glue books. So I have my chipboard cut for two and a half inches wide and then the height of the book. I already have a piece of Tyvek. Um, let me just show you. This is an envelope that I got at Walmart because they used to carry these for a short while and then they put them on clearance. And I bought several packages while they were on clearance. So this is what the Tyvek is. It's a plastic material instead of paper and it's an envelope. I'm sorry, I've got some things falling over here. Too much stuff. Ugh. Drives me crazy. I got my Christmas stuff still sitting around me. My life has been hectic for <laughs> pretty much all my life, but I think I mentioned in the last video that my mom is in the hospital. Anyway, um, I want to show you this Tyvek envelope. So I'm just going to trim a tiny snippet off all the way around and that way the envelope will be two separate pieces. It's just the easiest way to get flat pieces. So now, maybe, I have two flat pieces and now I can just cut these to the size I want. So I've already done that with this. And I know that I have done videos of the way that I put journal covers together before. But this is what I'm doing today. I already worked on the... I don't need to do that. I don't know why I'm lining it up like that. It's not time to do that yet. Um, I already worked on the Christmas pages today. But I just want to finish putting some covers together before I move on. So. 
So I'm putting my red line tape along the edge. This, this is the raw edge of the book where I took it apart. And I need a new roll of tape so I can show you what it looks like in the package. I have two different brands here. This is the Papery Shop from Hobby Lobby, I believe. I believe that's from Hobby Lobby. And there, I used a quarter inch size, and this is five yards. And then this is from Michael's, it's Recollections brand. And it's also five yards, and it's a quarter inch. And they're about $3 per. I think they're, the, whatever brand uh, Joann's carries is a little more expensive, so I don't get it there. It's not that much more, but why pay more if you don't have to, right? So it's not red once when you when you use it because you're going to peel the red layer off, but it's a very, very strong tape. So I like to use it for making my covers. I feel confident in it. And I like the Tyvek for the same reason. I feel confident in the strength of the Tyvek. There's the end of that one. I also have eighth inch, but I don't use it very often. And you can get it half inch also. So I can talk a little bit about what's been going on and what's going to be going on, I guess. Um, so I've got the red line tape on the edges of both the front and the back, and now I'm going to put it all around this spine piece. Um, my daughter and her family are leaving for Florida tomorrow, taking the boys to Harry Potter World and Universal Studios. <coughs> And they're driving to Florida. Uh, and when I realized today that they're leaving tomorrow, I, I actually felt myself panicking a little bit just because, you know, she's always here. <laughs> she's always available. Not, not always. She works a lot. But, you know, I see her and at least talk to her several times a week. We depend on each other. She depends on me, too. I watch the boys a lot. But I guess I'm going away next week. I'm just not going to be gone as long as she is. So I, I chose a good time to go away. <laughs> so anyway, she's going to... They're going to Florida tomorrow, so I just texted her to see if she wanted me to come up and visit. Because she said she would talk to me before she left. And I know she's got a lot to do before they leave. And I imagine they're leaving early in the morning since they're driving. So I te texted her to see if she wanted me to come over to her house, and maybe help her with something, you know, just see each other before she goes. But she just texted me back. That was a little sound you just heard minutes ago, that they're actually on their way up to Sam's Club. Must be to get some stuff they need for the trip. So maybe I'll go visit a little later. It's uh, 4 o'clock here, I guess. <laughs> Looking at my clock here in my craft room. That peeled off the paper, and it peeled off the adhesive. I think this was where I had two pieces of tape kind of overlapping because I ran out of the one and started another. So I just peeled it right off there. So I'm going to just add another little piece. So... Uh, what was I saying? Oh, nothing important, I guess. Um, so my mom, last night, they thought she had had 
well, I don't need to go into all the details, but they were, they found um, a large blood clot. So they were going to do some surgery, a procedure, last night, and it was, you know, it was a pretty serious thing, and they needed to take care of it right away. So it was dark and it was raining here, and I was not in a very good place. It was a blood clot that took my husband's life. So I was kind of upset about the whole thing. So my son, I'm going to trim this just a little bit. My son came down and got me. And we went to the hospital together and sat with my dad. And my brother came too. Even though he was sick, he's got a cold. So, and it, we just sat with my dad. And it, it wasn't, it didn't take very long, but then they couldn't, they couldn't finish the procedure of a complication so they didn't actually do anything so I don't know what the next step is but anyway I was at my mom's you know at the hospital with my mom last night I spent a couple hours with her with my sisters during the day before we knew that they were going to be doing this procedure so there you see I'm sorry I'm just talk talk talking <laughs> you saw that I lined up my book cover and my spine and I use the grid on this mat to, to make sure that I'm straight and then I can line the rest of the things up and I put them with a tiny tiny space in between and then I just peeled the white the red off and then just laid the Tyvek over it sorry I didn't talk you through that but you could see what I was doing so there's that that book I have two more to do, but I'm not going to do them right now. And I'm just going to peel off this plastic coating where, it, where it's peeling. I just peel it off. All right, so now let's just take one of these books that I've already done. And I'm going to look for some fabric to put on the spine. And I don't really know what kind of fabric I want. I think this would be fun. This would be really fun for a glue book because of the colors here. And the golden color. Let's do that. This is a nice sturdy fabric. So I just feel like things have been really up in the air. My daughter's going away. My mother's in the hospital. I'm going to be going away for a few days and trying to get stuff done before I go. Oh, my goodness. Doesn't it go that way, though? What I want to make sure I do is cover up the Tyvek, so I should make sure I make it wide enough to cover the Tyvek inside, which it is. So I cut a snip and then tear my fabric usually, unless it's a fabric that won't tear well. This is fun for me to, uh, especially with something like a, a glue book, because it's just fun and generic and uh, eclectic and doesn't go with a theme or anything. It's fun for me to put together fabrics and trims that would really accentuate the book cover in some way or just have fun with it. Obviously this is much longer than I need, so I'm just going to cut it to the right length. I've used this fabric quite a few times on books like this just because it's so fun and bright and it doesn't take itself seriously and I think that if you have a glue book with this kind of fabric on it maybe it would inspire you to not take your glue book too seriously and to just have fun with it I like this finished edge here so I'm going to make that be the one on top that will overlap the one that's
coming up from the bottom. So we have a nice finished edge right here. We don't always, but if I can do it, I will. This is a cut edge here, I believe, because it's not as frayed as this edge. But that doesn't matter because I'm going to put trim. Because if one edge was going to be frayed, I would want them both frayed. But they won't show. My plan is to take these glue book covers with me <coughs> to my hotel and some pages and supplies, envelopes, whatever I want to include in the glue book. Take, a, take it all with me and then spend some time each day uh, putting signatures together because I don't use my sewing machine for glue books. I don't sew things into them. I don't embellish them. I might have some pockets or envelopes stuck here and there, but I don't really embellish them because that's for you to do. The owner of the glue book gets to do all of that. So I thought this was a good project to take with me because I won't have my sewing machine. Okay, so I will not close the book because the glue is drying and I don't want to pull the fabric off. But I can add some trims here. I love to do rick racks and I love to do, um, oh, what's it called? The great um, the upholstery stuff. That stuff. <laughs> I'm losing my words. Oh, it's just been crazy, crazy day. But this, is a couple of days really, this is plain white. So I think, I don't know if I should leave that for the owner of the book to collage on or if I should put some patterned paper on it. What do you think? Let's just look through some paper and if something jumps out at me, maybe I'll use it. That just jumped out at me. And you could still collage over that. Yeah, let's just use that. Hopefully it's... Not, uh, maybe it's wide enough that I can... No, I don't know. Six inches would be right here. Not quite wide enough. I can't get both out of one piece of paper. I gotta, I gotta have 
something I can get two of. Of course, I could put something different on the front and on the back. And I've done that before, especially for a book like this. I've gotten out of that habit, though. Maybe I'll put some thin plaid on there. That works with that. Okay. So I want to cut it right about there. And right about there. So I'm making it six and a half. If I say it out loud, maybe I'll remember for the next one. Bye nine and three quarters. Six and a half by nine and three quarters. Okay, that works. my ATG gun around those three edges but I want to make sure that it will stick to the fabric so I'll use Fabri-Tac for that Ouch. fun. There's green right there and green here. So I think this works. Sometimes I think it's tedious to do the chipboard and tie back. Portion, but it doesn't take long, especially since I've done it so often now. I can pay attention to what you're doing, Diane. I can do it pretty quickly because I've done it so much, but this part I love. And I can't say that I actually love sewing the signatures in, but I love that step of actually getting the book put together. It's so exciting to see it coming together and looking finished. I do love that. Oh, what happened to this? I cut it wrong. This one ended up shorter. So, I'm going to have to put something at the bottom. Like I said, pay attention, Diane. Hmm. What do I do with my strips? 
I've organized my ephemera and now I don't know where my paper strips are. Well, I can come up with strips, can I? Just put a little bit of a ruler there. put my pencil mark on the gray. That was smart. There it is. Now this is uneven, so I'm just going to cut that. It'll be easier to do it with this than try to line it up on that paper trimmer. Something so skinny. on the whole thing. Maybe. I had to get my car inspected today. I wanted to, it has to be done this month, so I wanted to do it before I went away. So I didn't have to worry about it when I got back. So after work today, I took it to a little garage down the hill from me walked back home and oh my goodness it was so cold I, I live on a hill it's in town I've said it before it's in town but it's on a hill and it's quite steep the part that I live on is quite steep my Fitbit counts it as three flights of stairs and it's not that long so it's just steep but anyway I was walking against the wind and it was cold. It's not that long a walk, probably 10 minutes, if that. But I was, my, I had to take my glasses off because the cold freezes the metal and it hurts my face to have it on my face. And I can't see, but I, I could see well enough to, you know, stay on the sidewalk, so took my glasses off and put them in my coat pocket and kept on walking. But there was nothing wrong with my car. It passed inspection just fine. So that's done for another year. Um, now all I have to do is add some trim. And since I've got so much color going on here, I will go with something neutral. Look at this one. It's got some fuzzies in the middle. That's really cool. Gimp. That's the word. <laughs> this is gimp trim that they use in um, upholstering furniture. I was going to try to do two of these covers, but it's taking me a little longer than I thought it would to do this one. Maybe we'll at least select some fabric and paper and stuff for the next one if I don't actually do it on camera. I'll try to. I don't know if you need to see me do it twice, but I have to make them, so might as well, huh? If you don't, if you don't want to see the second one, you can stop the video.
I'm glad this bottle's almost empty. It's the newer large bottle with the, this little cap. You have to snip the top and the hole. I had to snip it down so far. I snipped it, I don't know how many times and it didn't go through. It didn't make a hole. So by the time I got a hole, it has this big opening. The glue kind of gushes out. And then putting the cap on, you have to put the cap on down because the you know the nozzle is bigger than than it was when the cap was sitting on it before I cut it, and it cracked the cap. So I'm I always have glue leaking out. I, if I put it upside down in the in my glass like I like to, I can't because it, my glass was just full of, well not full, but the bottom of the glass was full of glue. And I pulled the bottle out and the cap, see the, see the crack there? The cap stuck in the glue in the bottom of my glass. I got most of the glue out. So I'm just annoyed with that bottle. If I'm going to stick with Fabri-Tac, I will stick with the small bottles. It's just not as good a bargain. But it's not a good bargain if you're losing glue all the time because it's leaking. Alright, so there's the inside. Maybe I'll put some rickrack on the outside for fun. my rickrack. Don't you just love that word? Rickrack. Such a fun word. Let's put orange. Yeah, that's fun. This book cover is a child craft book called Look Again. Of course, I saved the book blocks from all of these books so that I can incorporate some of those pages, and I'll put some pages along with the journal so that the recipient purchaser can um, use them, you know, cut images out of them and use them in the glue book or whatever, stuff like that. really fun images in these books. I'm going to use the smaller nozzled glue because I don't want the big fat stream of glue for the rickrack. Sorry, you probably can hear my creaky chair every time I move. I might want to keep one of these child craft glue books for myself, but I don't know because I still have the one I kept out of the last batch that I made and haven't started gluing in it yet. But I'm going to take that with me along with some stuff to glue and hopefully I'll get some collaging done while I'm away on my little vacation to my own private little retreat. <laughs> There. So that cover is ready for its pages whenever I get them ready. This is a really fun cover. I love this one. Yeah, I love that one. Okay. Let's do this dictionary one. I love the black and the pink here. It 
So I think I will use black fabric. I like this bold stripe. And uh, I can use a pink trim. This fabric isn't long enough to wrap all the way around. I'll have to put something else on the inside or just another piece of this. I pick up these heavier fabrics in the remnant bin at Walmart, but I haven't gotten any in a long time. I never have anything good in the in the remnant bin, but I like to get these heavier pieces just for this purpose, usually. I don't think it's long enough. So close! It's so close! Okay. I ain't gonna do it. So I'll just have enough to fold over the top and the bottom. And I'll have to have something else here. This is cut straight. Nope. How oh, wide do I need this? I don't always use the heavier fabrics for the spines. If I don't have something that works, I'll just use a regular cotton fabric. Or I ha even have some pieces that are like fake leather and I, they make really nice spines. Okay, let's put this thing together. up. Use up some more of this one for this. And because this glue globs out so much because the opening is so big, I just use my finger to spread it out so I don't end up with thick globs showing through the fabric. And then my fingers get all messy. Good thing is this glue rubs off, rolls off your fingers pretty good. Peels off, dries fast, you can peel it off. than that. Nope. OK, 
Okay, we're going to have to try that again. My fingers are too gluey. Okay, that looks better. It's still a little wavy, but it's better. I've got some Tyvek showing up here, but I that will be covered with um, the trim that I put on. Nice vibrant pink there. So let's use this. This one has printed end paper, so I don't have to add paper to that. Oh, I do have to add this though. Forgot about that. I'll trim this smooth because I don't cover this part with trim. And sometimes if the fraying, if the threads are too long, I'll just kind of give them a haircut. Some of the fabrics, especially these thick ones, they tend to end up with more threads, longer threads. But you know you're going to get a nice straight edge when you tear it, if you can tear it. Okay, now we can add some Rick Rack. So now we have the black and the pink. And in here, let's use this kind of gray, maybe. Let's try it. 
Yeah, I like that color. Oh, I didn't realize that paper was torn. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get this book block that goes with this book. This is F L. going to find something out of this book. It doesn't have to be out of this book. I just thought it would be nice if it came out of this book. These are fun dictionary pages. Something's going to jump out at me. I just know it. Better jump fast because it's almost to the end. So I think I'm going to just use some of the dictionary words, the text, and maybe a little bit of a picture. I don't know, because it's gonna there's gonna be a trim over it too. flowers. I might be able to use them. This is going to be, it's not even going to be tall enough if I do that. Okay, I really don't want to cut into those flowers. So start on, starting a little bit of gluing here, and then of course whoever owns this can just glue anything they want to over it. Or add to it, because I will include some of these pages with the book.
have to wrap this up pretty soon. Gotta go make some supper. Do some cleaning. I didn't go visit my mom today, but I did talk to her on the phone. She's a very, usually pretty upbeat, very, very friendly person. She was feeling a little bit down today, though. said to my dad that mom and my grandson Teddy are the friendliest people in our family. They're outgoing. They make friends wherever they go. The rest of us are more reticent. I have two book covers ready to go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So we have this one. Dictionary. Fee to la. <laughs> and the look again. Childcraft. So I'm happy to have these two done. So <clears throat> gives me hope that I'll get couple others at least ready before I go all right so thanks for watching I know this was a long video with a lot of repetitious things in it doing a couple of things a couple of times doing the same things a couple times but I hope that you found it helpful and informative and I hope that you can see what I was doing here and be able to um, Take a book apart and start making one if you haven't done it yet. So have fun. Um, don't take it too seriously. Just have fun. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.